morning. I just realized I've never shown you guys the operation of my NFT system for the leafy greens. So I do, thought I'd do a quick walkthrough here this morning while it's cool in the greenhouse on the system here. It basically is set up for five tubes, rails, made out of three inch sewer grade PVC. And why I use sewer grade is for one, it's a lot cheaper, it's a thinner wall, making it a lot lighter and again, much cheaper. It's only about five to six bucks for a 10 foot length. Uh, PVC is gonna be thicker wall and a lot more money. So what I did is I, of course, drilled out, I'm gonna show you better, drilled out, I think I got 15 holes for net pots. The last one I keep free so I can uh, just investigate the drain here. And my drains are half inch PVC fittings drilled into the pipe there with an O-ring on the inside. And go into a barb fitting and then to uh, flexible tubing. And that flexible tubing comes down into a barb fitting into a three quarter inch, which comes all the way down to the drain line back to the reservoir. Now, I'm probably, when I redo this, going to make this a one inch line because I was having problems with this last one backing up and getting so much water from the rest. So that's in the works. Show you inside. I put a uh, small piece of uh, half inch PVC here with holes drilled toward the bottom to kind of raise the water level when I have new plants in there so they can uh, have a, a chance to get their roots established. Once that's established, I'll pull that out and I'll lower the water line. I glued on caps to each end. I've thought about using rubber ends or ends with screw-in plugs, but it's just cheaper to do the caps and I'm all about keeping the cost down. Again, I got in here my kale, lettuce, basil, and I'm going to get ready to drill out the fifth pipe here. I have it on a uh, lean-to or A-frame setup using these pipe hooks that I found at Lowe's. Home Depot did not have them, but they're perfect. Now three inch pipe hooks hold the pipe and then you use each hook to kind of space it out. And it worked out quite well. I had that idea from another video you'll probably find online. I can't remember right now whose it is. But I'm gonna probably change the system to be like this rail over here. I'm gonna make a shelf come out for four or five rails. Oh, here's my hand, four or five rails. And then put another shelf with three or four, and then one last shelf with one or two to kind of give them some head space. As you can see here, lettuce is growing taller than the next rail, and so is the kale. So I'll put those in the bottom royal row and put the basil and stuff on an upper row. And this is uh, cilantro. And then down there I have romaine coming in, so they'll be at the bottom rows. Now my feeds, as with all my systems, I have a half inch tube coming out of the reservoir, going into a manifold system here. And the way it's set up is I can control the flow to each rail, as well as shut it off if I need to take it out and clean it for something. And that way the rest of the system is still running. That was good and bad with that. You know, it's not too hard just to unplug the whole system for a while. But, and it's more expensive to do it this way. And then after each one, I have a quarter inch bar fitting to a, uh, let's get it here, tube, which feeds, uh, let's pop it out. feeds each rail. Now you'll notice there was a hole here. I did have it come in the side, but when I did that, it hit this first pot and started spraying out. So I moved them all to the top. And on a couple of the tops, I keep the first one free so I can put in my uh, PPM member meter or pH meter and test from here rather than open up the reservoir. Here's the reservoir, just like all my others. 
air stone pump. Pretty simple. Now this one I don't have on a timer. It's plugged in and running 24-7, but I'm going to change that to uh, a 15 on, 15 off because that pump being all time, it's got at least a five degree temperature difference. 72 right there where with a pump that runs 15 on, 15 off, it's uh, 68 degrees. So there's about a four or five temperature degree difference there. So I'm gonna go get a uh, timer for me today and put that on a timer on and off and hopefully it will bring the temperature down a bit. So that is it, five rails in this space. It, it's pretty good if you're outside going this way, but inside I think the shelf might be better for me. So I am seriously considering doing that and again changing the drain line to one inch drains. So please leave, leave your comments and questions below. Look forward to hearing them and answering any questions you might have. And that's it for the NFT system. Thank you.